Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Black Ops 3! This is episode 3, we're in week 2, Monday, week 2 of 12 so far in this recording endeavor. I'll do some more recording, uh, probably about 6 weeks in, but, uh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Uh, we were last talking off about, uh, me, Chris, the game... Uh, how they switch the volley or the not the volume back. controls, the aim, shoot, grenade, and tacticals controls, and uh, KDs and whatnot. Uh, if you don't know what I'm, anything about what I'm talking guns. about, nice. then you're gonna have to go back and watch episode two. But now that we're in episode right three, we count, you're count down five, four, three, two, one. All right. If you haven't switched to episode two, then these spoilers are on you now. In that episode, I said that there was something I had to continue, and there is something I have to continue. Um, Chris asked me to describe this game to him. Now, the best way I can describe it is you have, uh, the, if you look in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, you will see there's the ammo, the name of my gun, and what looks like uh, the best way to describe it uh, as a. Uh, 17 year old who uh, can be perverted minded at times. Uh, you've got your uh, two spiked dildos down there on the bottom uh, far right. HCXC, uh, ready for tasking. Dual spike dildos over there are uh, actually called gravity spikes. Now, these gravity spikes are, if you've played Destiny, the equivalent of a Titan Smash. Now, me being Destiny, I ran the Titan. And since they don't have the Hammer of Soul <laughs> in this, and they don't have the, uh, the Ward of Dawn, because, I mean, that would be too OP of power for Cog. Uh, UAV <laughs> ready for deployment. Too OP for the Ward of Dawn. So they, um, Drop you know, they removed... Uh, they Care package they awaiting it. orders. So I went with the closest thing to... Uh, Establish perimeter at 10,000 feet AGL. Uh, they basically took that aspect, uh, you know, Treyarch you know, dealt with Bungie with Destiny, and in turn, they, uh... He got the permission to UAV use a, a Destiny uh, thing in Black Ops 3. Now, I'm okay with having the whole grab his buttons ready. That's pretty, uh, UAV power uh, level say supercharged in Destiny. Uh, so that's uh, one one aspect I can compare it to. The other I can compare it to is uh, I haven't played the game personally, but from what I've heard, World of War. Like Call of Duty World War, that game was violent as fuck. You would shoot somebody in the head, their head would pop off. You know, like that song you would sing in the school courtyard. Hot under sentry, ready to deploy. The grass and say, "Mama had a baby, and her head popped off, and you pop that shit off." Well, it, you, you're basically singing that when you get a headshot, but instead of hot under sentry, ready to deploy. This guy's head just like spontaneously combust, and you get like brain matter all over your fucking face hole and shit like that. It's, Gruesome as fuck. Sentry online. Uh, from what I've been told. <laughs> so, there's that aspect, uh, which you'll probably see in later episodes. One of, the, one of your super abilities is called, uh, or at least in the campaign, it's called Firefly. I don't know if it's the same. It's probably got the same name in cam uh, multiplayer as the campaign. Uh, that was a fail. I'll tell you what. But uh, yeah, since I, I guarantee you it has the name, same name, I'll just, I'm just gonna keep calling it Firefly. So, Firefly, you want uh, basically it'll rip you limb from limb. You'll have to see it to believe it, man. It's vicious and grody. And then it's got the, uh, you know, all the swearing and stuff like that. So I'll put that in. I don't know if World of War swore as much as this game does, but let's just imagine that's part of the the uh, the gruesome side of the game. And then we've got the, uh, they're gone. Yeah, we've got all of that. Then we've got the advanced warfare aspect. Of it, which I loved advanced warfare, man. I was really good at it, and then I got my internet turned to shit, and now then I didn't play it for a few months, and then a few months of not playing it led to uh, everybody else getting further ahead of me and better at the game, and then them getting further ahead and better at the game led to me becoming more shit, and then I came back and my positive gate turned to a negative gate, and I cried myself to sleep. So, but other than that, I love the matchmaking, I love the, the 
advanced movement. Oh, the sentry shutting down. Stuff. And with uh, the advanced movements and stuff in this game, it's a lot like advanced movement. Incoming. So the way I described Black Ops 3 to Chris was if you take a, uh, if you take Black Ops, oh, and Black Ops 2, that was another one, because, I mean, it's a Black Ops game, it's got similar, a similar look and play style and feel to Black Ops 2, but other than, I mean, the designs are enhanced, like better graphics, but it's basically if you took like the dynamics of uh, advanced warfare, the graphics of advanced warfare, and mixed it with the design style of Black Ops 2, we get some serious art style of this game. So I explained it to him. I said, if you want, if you want this game, the best way to describe this game is you take Destiny, Call of Duty World at War. <laughs> You take Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and you, then you take uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You throw all four of those games in a blender, mix that shit up, and you've got Black Ops 3. And it's a it's a great combination. Those are all games, three of those games I've all played, and one of them I've heard nothing but great things about. So, I mean, I mean who can complain about this game, obviously. Um, so, yeah, he, he's excited. Uh, he's ready to uh, get into this, but uh, I'm ready to get out of this for, uh, and by that I of course mean we're coming to the end of the episode, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do, show the love, believe me guys, it helps me out a bunch, every ad uh, you watch or every like I get makes the channel more popular, and at the end of the month, uh, puts a little more uh, money in my pocket to help me buy things to better this channel, and believe me, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm poor, <laughs> so I can't, I can't afford this without the ad revenue, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.